Hey everyone, welcome back. So, I'm rarely late to start the stream, but I've been in a little bit of a rush today to get everything set up. But we are now good to go. I'm here. Uh, welcome Wild One, Nanaki, Flyer TX. Welcome already. We're going to be trying a brand new game tonight. We're going to be trying Eldorand that is made by Graffiti Games. If you don't know who made Graffiti, ga uh, who Graffiti Games is, it's the same company that did... Um, oh my god. Give me a sec. My cat is jumping all over me. <laughs> Give me just a sec here, guys. Let's wait till she gets settled because or else it's going to be disastrous. Oof. Okay. You're settled now. Good stuff. Okay. So yes, it's the same guys that did Blue Fire. However, this time they're being a publisher, I believe. I'm going to check really quick. Uh, yeah, they're the publisher. So they didn't develop the game like what like with Blue Fire where they actually developed and published it if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to check just to be sure. Oh no, they were a publisher as well. It was Roby Studios. Okay, so same situation, but Blue Fire was definitely one of my favorite hits of uh, of that year. It was a indie gem in my opinion. It still is today. They're getting constant updates. So hopefully they're going to be able to hit twice with this and Eldoran's going to be a great little Metroidvania. Um yes, that is a cap from my merch. So um there is merch available on the channel. I know we haven't sold a lot of it. Yeah, it's perfectly fine, honestly. I did it more in request to certain people asking for it than really because I was like, oh, I need merch. So that is not, <laughs> not a problem. But yes, it is a ball cap from my merch. Um, honestly, I want to work on it a little harder in the future in the sense of getting some new designs out there. I did have that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle inspired one that I, I haven't finished. Um, just so much, so many things on the plate, man, at the same time. At one point, I do decide to sort of focus on some things more than others. And the design of t-shirts and whatnot sort of took a backseat to getting the channel back with a constant rate of videos, which I think over the last couple of weeks has been pretty freaking good. We got an awesome review on white on blah this week. I was going to say white, which is basically the translation. Blah is white in um, in French. We got a couple of deal videos out there. We got a hidden gems list. We've got a lot of good stuff. Uh, and thank you, big dogs. Um, the family is doing well. Safe, great weekend. My, you know, I told you guys last week. My my aunt had a big surgery. She's back at home. Things are going well. She's feeling better each and every day. So I am super happy about that. Hey, champ dancer. Yes, you're back. You've been absent for a little while. Hopefully, things are good on your end. I'm glad to see you back tonight, my friend. Glad to see you back. There's some kids screaming outside my window. I think it's the neighbor's kids, but, you know, we're going to deal with that. Give me just a sec, guys. i got to put my beer away in the fridge down here because I brought it down, but I didn't have time to shift it over to the Xbox fridge. So I just need a couple of seconds. I want to make sure it doesn't warm up, doesn't ruin any of this of our beer tonight. And I'm going to crack open a fresh one, and we're going to get started on Eldoran. So I just need a couple of minutes to set the last few things up here, and we're going to get going. We're going to grab one of these. I'm going to refresh with some fresh ones. There we go. Please. Stay there. Good boy. So we are now going to be getting good to go. Let me just uh, flip to the other screen. Honestly, hey, on top of it, guys, I finally found a second Martian Panic um, sort of uh, laser gun. So what that means is very soon, I will finally have everything I need to try the, uh, in the first part, um, hold on here, 
I just realized my my green filter is still on. I'm gonna take that off. There we go. So first part, we're gonna be able to test Martian Panic, which is a game that no one has reviewed or almost no one has reviewed on the Switch. See if it actually is an okay port from the Wii. And secondly, we are going to test if I can actually play House of the Dead using these awesome pistols to make it a little bit easier and to be able to dual wield pistols. Oh, kidok. Oof. Sorry, guys. I'm rarely this disorganized at the beginning of stream, but seriously, I've been, like I said, I've been running all day. Uh, the deals video just came out like at 445. Just so you guys know, I finished work at four. I finished editing the video. I started editing the video the second I was logged off of work and got that all done in 45 minutes. It was already like 40% done. Oof. So honestly, I haven't stopped. We just finished supper, which is why we're starting stream a little bit later than usual. Okay, let's flip over to the game. There we go. So we are going to be starting Eldoran tonight. I'm hoping. Up Tales of Symphonia, I love that game. I did as well. The the honestly, the review sort of like disappointed me a little bit. Not in the sense that I'm I'm gonna trust always a review from another reviewer. Like you know, I enjoy reviewing games myself, but you know, they did seem to point out that the game had like. It was pretty much a bare bones port of the game to the Switch. And I was hoping for maybe a little bit of, you know, a little bit of extra spice added in for the Switch, especially since it's one of the best Tales games of all time. And um, what that means is I, I honestly, I didn't pick up my physical copy today. I could have picked it up. I didn't because I have so many other games that I'm going to play before it now. Knowing that it's only the exact same game, there's like nothing extra added to the experience. So I'm not, I'm not di dissing on it. I'm just saying like, I played it on the GameCube at least two or three times. So it's not going to be on the top of my list of games to replay. And I'm going to most likely be dedicating my time to a lot of I indie games. Tonight, last week I had trouble choosing a game and tonight I had too many games to choose from. And I'm going with the one that has me most excited, which is, which is Eldorand. But I actually have a couple of other indie games that we could have tried for tonight. And hopefully, if all goes well, I might be able to get up a couple of reviews next week. Um, Eldorand being one of them, I would really like to get a review of this. So let's, let's get started. While we're talking, while we're getting things going, let's start playing the game. So, appearance-wise, we have the choice between Log Hair Dude, Short Hair Dude, or Short Hair Dude with a Beard. So I'm gonna go with Short Hair Dude with a Beard because... Or no, he's Long Hair Dude with a Beard, but he has a beard. So go with the beard. And we're gonna put him some tan skin. And the hair color, obviously, we're gonna go with black. Or red. Or white. Actually, I like the white. I like the white. Let's go with the white, guys. Yeah, exactly. It's a port, not a remaster, and uh, you do get the extra content from the PS3, yeah. I just was hoping they would do a little something more. Like I said, it's one of the best of all time. So I was hoping that they give it a little a little bit of love and care, you know what I mean? Um, especially that we've gotten some pretty awesome ports lately where things have been really done well. And apparently there's some slight frame rate issues. It's most likely going to be patched out. Okay. Hold on, let's get to the game for a few seconds. Men in the service of the great priest have discovered someone capable of eradicating the entire legacy of evil forged by Sir Thiris, the tyrant of the sands. Okay, double S's. I have no idea how to pronounce that. In a soaked contract written on cloth, his destiny was found. A mythical land beyond the reaches of reason. I'm liking this intro cutscene. It's like it's it's nice retro like Ninja Gaiden style. But fate can be as treacherous as waves, as twisted as lightning, and fleeting like hope itself. And drown its possessor by the by the shore. 
don't know why I wanted to say throw in there. What the reward is when destiny is at stake. So by the way, I'm playing with my uh, Pro 2 tonight. Uh, felt more fitting for a 2D uh, Metroidvania than the um, than the 8-bit though uh, Ultimate controller. You know, it has a good D-pad, but this one is really like 2D centric. Let me check for you guys. Uh, did, I was uh, generous and I was lucky enough to get a, don a code de donated to me by the developer. Uh, this is uh, Eldoran is sixteen dollars and ninety nine cents currently because it is fifteen percent off. It has a regular sales price of nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. So, let's take a look. For the moment, I can jump. I can dash. But we don't have an attack, button, or at least not one that I can tell. Ah. Why is going to be our attack? So far, though, just first impressions. I'm liking the controls. They aren't floaty, there's a weight to the controls, and they seem pretty crisp, so things are pointing in a good direction for the moment. We get the enemy name at the bottom when we're attacking it. This is a Prion, whatever that is. Now the environments don't seem to be destructible. Oh, we have a camp. Save the game, fast travel, reset attributes. How do I switch options? I cannot for the moment, so I will save the game. There we go. We are saved. So we can't access the fast travel yet or the reset abilities. Makes sense. We probably haven't done any of that yet. Yeah, the, run's a the run animation is a little basic, but we're going to hopefully... So if we hold down B, we jump higher. Yeah, so we've got a short jump and we've got a high jump. Short jump, high jump. However, I still can't make it up there. And for the moment, at least, we don't have a double jump. I'm assuming the smoke would hurt us. So we're going to do that. So we'll hold down and B, we drop the platform. Pretty standard stuff for the moment, but standard does not mean bad. Okay, press X to switch our resets. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Do we have a number of arrows anywhere? Oh yes, at the top there, the, the right, we have five arrows at the moment. While equipped with a bow, press ZR to execute a secondary skill. Oh, okay, so we can dash back. Fire off an arrow, and I'm sort of wasting my arrow. So switch back to the sword. I wonder if I switch to the arrow, can I kneel and fire low? Yes, I could have done that as well. Now, I know I'm, not, I'm out of arrows, but I'm more focused on learning as much as I can about the game and giving you guys the information you need to figure out is this worth a pickup then you know maintaining my arrow ouch okay, hit there we can't open those cocoons we can't save no one here but can we save this person Resting slave, what? How can you keep breathing within that nameless abyss? Your sanity, do you still have it? Never speak that name again. Surtis, the priest, is evil incarnate. This place is even more vile than its creatures. Even so, it is safer beside the cursed devoured than in the shadow of that evil. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't treat me like I'm crazy. Like everyone else here isn't that our destiny. So after that, he's, he's just telling us the same stuff. So obviously we're going to have to find a way around there. We're most likely going to come from the other side. We're going to open that. Now 
Now let's see. Character, level up. We do have points that we can assign here. So we can increase maximum health, magic damage, physical damage, and stamina, or dexterity. Increases chance of a critical strike as well as damage from bows, whips, knives, and axes. I feel like I'm going to want to go normal damage here for the moment. And most likely dexterity as a secondary factor. I just want... It's, it's sort of hard to tell now because we have to figure out how important those secondary weapons are. Open note. Fool's letter. Damn the place. Oops. Fool's letter. Damn the place, or rather, damn me for believing in silly promises. The supposed gold and promise of glory boil down to mud and death. The air here dulls my nostrils and madness my mind. This gap, what goes through here? What comes in, what comes out? Damn place. Would that be hell? No, the hell guard sinners. Okay. So some bit of gibberish. Oh my god, we have a donation coming in from Emulation Inflation for $1.49. Thank you very much, my friend. Hopefully, the notifications are going to be working again. They were last week. I haven't seen yours come in yet. But thank you so much, my friend. That is so appreciated. And let me catch up. I, I I sort of zoned out on the game there. How's GT7? Uh, the guy runs funny. Okay, so yeah, that's about where we were. Seems like uh, it runs good. 30 FPS. Yeah, feels like 30 FPS. I don't have a frame counter on my Switch because I don't have it modded. But it doesn't feel like 60 to me. It feels like 30. Uh, I can confirm later which one it is. Um... Expensive week ahead, Metroid Prime Remaster, Octopath Traveler. That's the other reason I didn't pick up um, Tales of Symphonia. In my mind, I'm like, I'm not going to play it right now. And probably by the time I get to playing it, it's going to be on discount. Like, not, I do want it physically, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to find out a discounted copy before I get to play it. Uh, but definitely. Oh my God, another donation, Capone Man with $5.00. Your first super chat ever. Thank you so much for doing it. I'm, I'm so honored to be your first super chat. And I'm wondering why donations aren't working. Now, the, my cat has been extremely annoying tonight. Get on here. Come over. Uh, if it doesn't pop in in the next minute or two... I'm, I'm really wondering why there we go sort of just woke up but I'm not getting emulation inflations I'm really uh, disappointed in that but thank you so much my man I hope you don't feel bad that you didn't have the donation pop on the screen I'm gonna it's it's weird last week too it didn't like it didn't like jumping bears um, gifted subs but then every other donation after that was working fine Yes, Topaz says hi, but she's been extremely uh, undecided. Like, I don't mind her coming on me while I'm streaming, but I want her to decide. Do you want to like, do you want to sit on me or do you want to um, like, do you, you, do you not want to? But when she like dances around and goes back and forth, that's where she makes things difficult. So there's a chest up there, but we really cannot get to it. So most likely, this being a Metroidvania, we'll have to revisit. Speak of the devil, we said his name, and he showed up. Jumping bear. Dash back. So, okay, so... We can dash forward, we can dash back. And we died. My god. Okay. Let's restart this. We're going to try this again. Uh, jump long distances. That's fine. We're going to pick all this up. That guy just totally wrecked me. I was like, oh my god, come on. They're not going to beat me down that hard. But apparently they are. See, Jumping Bear, he's bad. He's bad news, man. He... he... There we go. 
Character. Okay, we're back. We're really back to where we were. We lost all the progress we had done. That sort of sucks. Talk to the weird dude again. We're gonna speed through the conversation. I just want to make sure if this sort of like unlocks any type of. I'm Batman. You are definitely not Batman. I am Batman. But you see, this week my notifications don't hate you, Jumping Bear. They're coming in. And it's really odd that inflation did not get it. It's like every week the first notification just doesn't want to hear it. Okay, we saw the fool's letter. We good. Now, I sort of have to go challenge this dude again, but I'm, like, worried because I'm, like, what the heck? I'm, I'm going to switch to my bow and arrow. We're going to... Man, uh... Okay, we, we wrecked him, but he almost killed us. Like, I get their dash thing, but his spit is way longer than my dash is. L. We're going to use a healing potion. Although we're almost at level 2. Pulsating inscriptions written in blood. I don't know their meaning, but it can't be good. Oh, it sort of filled us... Uh, didn't it regen our health? It seemed to have regened our health. Interesting. Okay. I get what they're saying. So that we can dash through this. Increases magic damage. Let's let's go with health. We're gonna go. We're gonna build tank first. We're gonna build like a, a bruiser, basically. So attack and HP, and then we're gonna figure out later on. Maybe we could know now that at the save points you can actually reset your your points. We're gonna do that. Oh, you're now in Georgia. You're out of Florida, my man. Interesting. So how are you liking it? You transferred Amazon delivery teams. Nice. And they announced it. One month in and they announced they're ending their contract with Amazon. Wow. That sucks though, man. So are you, but are you still like, like, are they still keeping you on and you're just going to be doing other delivery contracts or you're like sort of in a, you're sort of stuck now. That's basically probably opening us up here. I got it. So now we can do the pathing path from where we were. That big mean dude that's back. I'm just not going to fight him again because seems like wasted health for the moment. We don't have the stats for that. Here. Oh, we got an axe. Press. Okay, so we got a Castlevania axe. Boom. Observer's note, crimson corners of light and shadow populate that room, haunting voices, frantic laughter. There is nothing healthy or sober in that place. They worship and they worship and they worship, but what and whom? What I know, or rather what I feel, tells me that there is no peace and kindness in any of those words. Their god is evil. Sure. We have a map. Bonfires. The bonfires are the save spots. Nice. 
I, sh I didn't check if the bonfires regenerate health. I assume they do, because in most places that's what happens. But we shall see the next time we get into it. So, this way... That most likely looks like we need some type of item to swing from that. So we'll have to come back this way. Right, data. Okay, we still can't fast travel or reset the attributes. So whatever that is, it has to be a lock locked further down. Because I'm pressing all the buttons. We really just can't access anything else than save the game. May your will be done. Okay, so they're just praying and they're just not doing anything else. ZR to block. Nice. And now we can actually block. That's actually most likely going to help. Yeah, it's going to help if I can... Wow. If I can get like the... I, I was just about to say if I can get the rhythm down for the blocks. But that dude is just not friendly at all. Wow. I'm getting wrecked because, like, it takes up your stamina to block. And he does, like, two attacks in a row. And by then, we're out of stamina, so... I think I'm gonna block his shot. There we go. Oof. Honestly, those dudes do not mess around. I feel like they're uh, a little intense from, like, for, like, an early monster. Trying to throw my axe at the dude. Wow. <sighs> okay, we're gonna get a hang of this one. The combat system is a little intense, but I'm still chalking it up to me being sucky at the moment. We just barely made it. But I am getting a I am getting a little better at the dodging thing, so honestly it's just really apparently you have to buffer your input for the dodge. Whoa. Okay, we're not going to go up there because the dude is freaking mean. And we're going to try to go back to the bonfire to see if I can regen. We're going to try to get an extra level. We're going to sort of cheese this one. Because if we have to fight him again, we're most likely going to get a level out of it. If I don't die again. My god. Even if I buffer the freaking dodge, it's not working. Well, it works like one time out of two. Okay. There we go. Now I got the rim down. Okay. So it's really hit dodge, hit dodge, hit dodge, hit dodge till he's freaking dead. Oh, and that's what killed us, the steam. You can see that there's a steam thing there. Hey, 
Come here. There we go. We need more damage. Kill these guys and less shots. There we go. Nothing up here. Yeah, it's honestly, it's it's a it's it's fairly it's it seems fairly high, in the sense that you know. There's not, they're not easing you into it way too much. You've got to be ready, like, right off the bat to, like, take it seriously. Which wasn't what I was expecting, which is probably why I'm doing really bad, because I'm used to sort of easing into these games. You cook the frog when you're heal at a bonfire? I'll check that out. But now that I'm sort of... I'm going to try to get in the mindset where each and every enemy can kill me and we don't mess around. Well, so far I'm liking it. So, the, you know, challenging games, I think you guys all know, not a problem with me. Do we perform a blood ritual? Shall we perform a blood ritual? Okay, let's go with yes. Yeah, I'm not sure what just happened. But we just donated a crap ton of stuff. Get a ring. I'm not sure where it went. So if I go into my inventory. Uh, right is R is supposed to be vertical scroll and I don't seem to have anything. Hmm. Not sure what happened there, guys. Not one. Oh, here we go. Blood Alliance. Plus four vitality. So I've increased my maximum health points. But it took a shitload of my health, my current health. And we die. Okay, so we do want to do that again because four points of vitality seems like very worth it. Oh, God. I thought he was going to crush at me. So he decided to spit. So we have to get our level back. Oh my god. Let's chill out. Arrgh. Okay. That sucked and I hit the freaking steam. I don't know what's up with me tonight, guys. I'm like having some slight. Like, I would never do that normally. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the bonfire. I'm gonna get my health back. We're gonna refight that guy. We're gonna get our level four. Then we're gonna go up there and do our blood ritual. We are gonna cheese this as much as we can. Honestly, I have no problem with dying. I just would say that for the average audience, a game that sort of eases you into it is most likely to be more successful with a well-rounded audience than a game that like like this one where, you know, some people, if they die like a bunch of times within the first 10 minutes, they're just gonna be like, F this game. Ah, 
Now what I wonder is, do I, can I die from the blood ritual since I'm not full health? Because last time I was pretty much full health when I wanted to do the blood ritual, and now I am definitely not. So we're gonna try it. Let's see if we get the same item. Yep, we got the same item again. Oof. Okay, we got some criticals, we got lucky there. Now the ideal thing would be to get another level. If we could get another level... We could, like, right away regen. Hmm, 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 hmm. I'm gonna go for even more vitality. Check out the map. Oof. I'm like worried what we're gonna encounter now because I'm like one shot and I die. But we are a significant ways away from level five. Oh! A great source of iron and corruption. Glass bottle. Always good to keep your glass bottles. For people questionable taste. Can we like eat the liver? Oh no, those are crafting items. So on top of it, we're gonna have some crafting guys. Uh, I agree. I honestly, I prefer games with a decent level of challenge. Uh, because yes, it is way more, re more rewarding when you actually finish it or you, you accomplish something in the game. I'm just... Uh, you know, I do know that it's not necessarily, however, the whole audience does like that. I'm not fighting one of those guys in this state. So we're going to try. Oh, my God. We have to fight this guy again. You know what? I think we can cheese a level out of fighting that dumb guy. Okay, like, we can definitely do that. Give me a health pot. Or let me just kill this guy. We're going to kill this guy over and over again till we level up. We're going to cheese this shit. We're gonna we're gonna do this as 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 cowardly as possible. One or two more, I think we're gonna have our level. Yeah, the Hogwarts Legacy. I I am so worried about the Switch version. Because the game, honestly, it doesn't look like it's pushing the other hardware, but it definitely looks like a game that would have belonged on, like, a next-gen system. And I'm not, I have no idea how the Switch is supposed to, is, is supposed to play that. By the way, I have a, I, I think I know why Zelda Breath of the Wild is more expensive. Uh, the game size I heard was 18 gigabytes, meaning it won't fit onto a 16 gigabyte cartridge, and Nintendo will most likely have to use a 32. Nintendo traditionally never used a 32 really for a first party game. I think that's actually why we got a 10% price boost, and why they sort of came out and said no, not every game is going to be 70 from now on. I actually think it has to do with the fact that they had to use a bigger cartridge for the game. Go more attack. Berserker. There we go. Aha. And I, I, 
I love the I love that the fact that it's a Metroidvania. You know, okay, obviously not gonna be the same end quality, but this one's reminding me a lot of Hollow Knight in the sense that they were just dropping you into a map, and you have to just start exploring and figuring everything out for yourself. Like they they've done absolutely no. the hell there we go that one was pretty easy new armor forest coat Defense plus eight. Nice. So we've got ourselves another a new bit of armor. I want to start playing HL 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 uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Okay, yeah. Persona three portable is hogging my gaming time. Persona three, man. That one, um, honestly, I, I don't think I even finished back in the day. That's one that I should maybe look into getting eventually. So it's pretty nice because now we've got ourselves a new bit of armor. But honestly, guys, I'm digging this so far. This is really like just a totally classic Metroidvania dropping you into an environment. And you just got to work where you gotta go. Okay. Apparently I can't block him unless the, the block didn't register. But I did try to block him hitting me. And apparently you maybe can't block on. Oof. Okay. That was intense. I'm not sure we're supposed to be coming up here because the enemies seem to be getting a lot more challenging. I'm not sure we're at that level yet. Can't make it up there. Level. Okay, we're gonna start. We're gonna start putting a few points in the critical strike, because when we hit those critical strikes, there re there really is a decent damage boost. So I do wanna be able to levy that. Okay, we're getting rolling here. I just want to see how the map's going. Oof, we're getting further and further off target. I feel like we have some more stuff to, to, to discover in that other zone first. I sort of don't want to jump into like a boss fight or something that I'm totally not ready for. And are these, uh, oh, we can hit the nests. Nice. I'm like, are these nests infinite? Because if they are, there's two things. Either it can be a super easy way to upgrade, like to farm easy XP later on. Right now, they, they, they take too many hits. Oh, 
I can still deal with them okay. There we go. Oof. And we've got like two points. Let's go here. Let's go here. Like, seriously, I can see people, like, just going in front of this and freaking um, farming that up. Honestly, yeah, the soundtrack is pretty decent. It, is it too loud, by the way? I it, It's more ambiphonic here, so I did leave it at full power. But if it is drowning me out, let me know. Oh, I think we have a merchant. Greetings, traveler. My name is Poyo. I'm a traveling merchant, and I carry with me the finest goods. Bring me all the gold in this world, and I will give you the tools to achieve power and glory. Interesting. We have 470 combat doublet. Defense 6. Arrow. Okay. Metal buckler. CC minus 2. Axe attack. Like, can I equip my axe as a weapon? Because, like, so far I have to throw the axes. Um, the other games that I have, one I actually would have to input the download code because the developer just sent it to me. But the other ones that we could, that I have, that I was debating is Rise of Fox Hero which I'm trying to remember looks like a action platformer I think that one was and the other one was and this one too I would have to check if um per perseverance but perseverance is more of a um it's a graph it, it's a digital novel it's it's a visual novel sort of type of game so I'm not really sure that would be good on a stream. You know what I mean? Like a visual novel is a lot of, of reading. The head slicer. The serpent, a whip. Okay, let's try and buy the head slicer. Oh, we have a knife that can hit more. Hey, we can actually switch this around. Interesting. So we have a new weapon. We have the axe. Should be doing more damage with it. Oh, yeah, we can two shot the axe now. Oof, okay. I sort of need to, to kill a... Can, can we air dash? No, we cannot. Dang it. That is not good. No, I want that. We have to drink the potion. There we go. It refilled us completely. Can't make that jump. We are sort of. I think we were. I think we're as far as we can go up here. So I think that the adventure up here was really to find the merchant for the moment. Now I think we're gonna have to go back down and collect more gold. Oh. So the axe is definitely slower, but the attack radius or the t attack distance is, w it is a lot better. But yeah, so we have, like primarily the one I would maybe want to test tonight 
uh, or but I don't think we're gonna do it tonight because honestly I'm liking this game I want to sort of see where we can get to with it uh, but it was um, the uh, rise of, of Fox hero but if I don't play it tonight uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try and do a review for it next week it came out just today rise of Fox hero by the way I think by the name you can tell but you're playing a fox uh, but yeah, if I remember well, it's like a 3D action platformer. It just came out today on the Switch. I would have liked to actually get the code a little earlier because I would have liked to do a day one, a day one review of it. But uh, I just got it like literally a couple of hours ago. And uh, they just sent it to me. They don't always send you the codes ahead of time. Which does make it a little difficult to get reviews ready sometimes, but... And by the way, I I have decided, because I really like the format that I did for, like, these Hidden Gems of 2022. I don't know if any of you watched the video, but I really like that format. And I've decided that we are going to continue with full reviews like we're doing. But when I play games that I don't have time to review... Once a month, I'm going to be doing a compilation video where I do talk about other games that I've played that I haven't had time to review and give a score to those games. Because, you know, doing a full review is a bit of a time-consuming thing, and doing it when the game's been out for, like, over a week doesn't really get any like you know doesn't really get any decent views so what i'm gonna do is we're gonna be doing a compilation video once a week because there are so many games that i play that i just don't get time to review that i don't find it's fair to those games and it's also like for me sometimes i feel like oh man i wasted so much time on that game i wish i had time to talk about it oh dang Okay, wait, let's just make sure we're going the most efficient way. Did we go down here? That's the next room. It's the next room that we can go. The new armor, though, is really helping. We can take a lot more shots with it. Now, ideally, we're not going to take more shots. <laughs> but um, okay, I think we have a campfire over here. Yes, we do. Nice. Let's save the game because we've done quite a bit of stuff. And I feel now we're sort of over the hump. Because we got that extra armor, we got a better weapon. I don't want to say the game's getting easier. But... It's not feeling as like it's not anymore like oh dang I got I took one bad hit I'm, and I'm almost dead. Like before it sort of felt like that. Now it's it's feeling more like okay you can take a couple of hits and you won't die. Feeling like I need to take a health potion. Oh man, I took a magic potion again by mistake. I have to remember, it's R for the health potions. I wish the top... I wish there was an R over the square to let you know which one is R and which one is L visually. And that thing almost hit me because I just... And we're getting, uh, we're getting a ton of crafting materials. I'm wondering where the crafting thing is. You know what, before going further this way, we're gonna go look at the bottom room over there. But honestly, um, guys, I'm thinking, like, this is looking like a pretty freaking decent metroidvania. It's, um, like I said, it's not a hand-holding one. It has a... It seems to be having, like, difficulty spikes, but... Visually, I'm liking the presentation. Control-wise, it's good. Some of the weapons feel clunky, but I'm, I'm under the impression that that's really because of the size of the weapon. 
and it's just so that there's benefit to having like a smaller weapon that does less damage versus a bigger weapon that does more damage and so forth. Oh, let's see what we got. Rattlesnake. Okay, this one has a high critical chance. So it does less damage. A little bit less damage than our sword. No, our sword has a higher base damage, but lower lower high-end damage. This one has higher high-end damage, but lower base. Defense 10, but it has a lot of critical chance. I'm going to stick with my head slicer, because for the moment... While equipped with a dagger, press ZR to quickly dodge any attack. Oh, I think it's... Okay, hold on. What they're telling me is if I equip the rattlesnake, which is a, which is a dagger, you have a dodge ability. Okay. Okay, so different... Different weapons have different special abilities. I didn't check what my... What the... Head Slicer would have. Oh, it, there seems to be a dodge ability too. Dang it. I want... That's not what I wanted to do. I wasted my potion. God damn it. Hold on. Okay, so the Head Slicer does have a dodge ability as well. It is not as quick as the daggers, but there is a dodge ability nonetheless. Okay, so we've explored fully this way. So the left section of the map for this part is done in this zone. Zed alert. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, I think he has Elden Ring for the Switch. God, honestly, I have I don't I, I, I don't ever see Elden Ring running on the Switch. If they would manage to get that, it's like game over for a lot of people. Like I'm wondering now if I should continue on with this with the with the axe. Oh man, but the critical damage is so awesome. I'm going to I'm going to go resave at this. I I honestly think this is one of those games where you have to manipulate the save spots to make sure that you don't lose like progress and XP. Okay, we're going to keep going up top here. Wait a second. Wait a second. I get it. When I equip, the reason I could dodge with the with the with the um, daggers is that it doesn't equip a shield, and when you don't have a shield, the dodge ability is like your default. I get it now. But, and when I re-equip the axe, you have to think exactly. Thank you, Dan Zever. <laughs> Dan Zever, like, he, he, my, my reflection now looks like I caught, like, I just read chat, but that is not it. We came to the exact same conclusion at the exact same time. Great minds think alike, my friend. That is exactly it. Okay, so there's an elevator down. However, I sort of want to go here. Exactly. Since the dagger is a dual-wield item, by default you can't have a shield. You know what? The tutorial, though, in the game should say that. Rather than saying, hey, when you have daggers, you can dodge, it should literally say, if you're, you, if you 
if you don't have a shield equipped, ZR is a dodge function. Because that makes it sound like it's an ability that's limited to the daggers, when that's actually not the fact. Oh, dang. He's like a... He's like a fifth-year Hogwarts student, man. The other ones were first years. They only could do one little ice pick. That guy's got, like, a whole freaking... A lot of ice picks popping up. Now, oh, wait. Hey, equipment. What? I'm not in combat. Sub weapon. I want one. How many points we got? One. Yeah, it really feels like in this game, like you have to get over the initial hump of being unequipped and like too fragile. And now that sort of you, I've got a few items, I've got a few levels. It's not so bad. Now, I'm sure there's going to be like a, a point where the game's going to sort of catch up to that. But at least for the moment. Oh, nice. Don't know what that did, but it gave me extra max HP. So we've got the elevator over there. I skipped for the moment. Can't go any further there. Whew. Man, I can't believe we've already been playing for an hour. I feel like I'm just... Well, most likely this is going to be a game that will take a few hours to complete. But I literally feel like I just got started. Like, ten minutes ago. There's a huge... Uh, there's a huge flying thing somewhere around here. I saw it. There it is. I don't know what these are supposed to be. Abyssal eels. There. Killed one. Killed two. far from a level and I'm getting too low. Oh, yeah, we can call the elevator here. Nice, two health potions. Yeah, we can switch between your alternate weapon and this one. Can we can we do a different sub weapon? Okay, it's just we have to choose between the what uh, Knife and that. Are we gonna go up to that other level that we did earlier? Hey, 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 I wanted I want that match. You think you can hide that from me? That's not the way things work. You can have uh, two loadouts for different situations. Your second loadout is the axe and shield. Don't remember don't remember what your first loadout is. You mean you can? I can preset two complete equipments? Is that what you mean? Oh, yes, you can. I've got it. You can, like, do this with this. Got my daggers as the sub weapon. Boom, boom, boom.
It's weird because you still have a okay. The sub weapon is the the up attack weapon. If I do this, I'm throwing axes. If I do this, I'm throwing daggers. Thank you for the help, Dan Zever. Have you played the game, or it's uh, are you involved with the game, or <laughs> where is your knowledge coming from? Oh my god, this feels like we're going into a boss fight. You know when you get that feeling that you're getting to a boss fight? That's the feeling I'm getting right now. Luckily, we can save the game right there. The rat dangerous. Stop moving, rat. Whoa. I don't know if the rat's dangerous, but that dude, man, sucks. Because he does damage with, like, a bleed effect. Grim Guardians? Let me check really quick. It, 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 it rings a bell, but um, I am not, like, I can't... Yes, it looks very Castlevania slash Mega Man Z. Like, it, it looks like almost like a blend between Castlevania and Me uh, Mega Man Zero. Yes, that now that I, I just saw like two seconds of gameplay and I'm like exactly when this is. When is the release date on it? Uh, it's coming Nintendo Switch. Du -du 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 uh, Grim, Grim Guardians. When is that coming out? It is supposed to be releasing February 23rd. That's next week. Thank you for pointing that out. I am going to try and get... Um... Ah, simply your, 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 your skills of observation are, are, are great, my friend. <laughs> I feel like this part... Yeah, we're in another section again. Okay, we're gonna go backwards because the enemies are getting a little bit intense, and I feel like we're not ready for this section yet. Honestly, I'm gonna check PlayAsia, because that feels like a PlayAsia game. No, no offense, it feels like a game that's not gonna get a physical release in, in North America, but is gonna get one in Asia. I just ordered, by the way, four games from PlayAsia this week. We can go look at the games I ordered a little bit later. I'm just gonna move Topaz off because she's like right in front of my gaming screen. But uh, we, we can go check that out a little bit. I'll... Oh, Richard Larive, you have now subscribed. Congrats and welcome to the channel, my friend. I don't know if you're in the stream. I don't know if you're just watching the video that I posted earlier, but can welcome to the channel hope you enjoy your stay okie doke let's look where we haven't gone yet uh the elevator i think we are at that point actually there's an elevator and there seems to be another path down so, this dudes it's so funny man these dudes were booting our boot our butt like just like 40 minutes ago, and now I can dispatch them without even, like, needing to worry too much. Little piece of... go. Yeah, there's like, um... There's like a path down, apparently, halfway through the screen. So I'm gonna see if I missed that, or if that's the elevator. I feel like the elevator is the further mark, like, is the room that actually looks like it's going down. It's still a little further towards the left. 
Yeah, right here. The area down here. And we're getting so many materials, I'm really wondering where, like, the, uh, where the thing is for, uh, basically forging items or I'm, I'm i'm looking i'm interested in that i honestly i really love um games where you can craft stuff so i'm really looking forward to seeing what the crafting system looks like like i'm wondering if the stuff we have is already good enough to craft something or if it's like no you need 200 of these oh dang we're at the max of potions i only have three so let's use one oops can we see how much gold we have? I don't see it anywhere. Like, I see when we're getting gold, but I don't see what the total... Oh yeah, it's up top. top 1,300. Because I feel like before... Oh! Awesome, Danziver. Awesome. Okay. Welcome, Richard. And, um, yeah, so basically what I was saying is, um, we're going... I feel like, also, before we adventure out to, like, the other sections, if we look at the map, I feel like the green section was easier than the red one. Like, the enemies were stronger, but not as strong as the red section. So once we're do it, done with the blue, we're gonna go to the green section and i'm gonna go revisit the vendor because i'm pretty sure there was something that looked interesting to buy around a thousand but i just didn't have enough money oh it just mirrored the music stuff yes the music changed is this a boss music change And it looks like, uh, what can we call it? Um, uh, Cthulhu! <laughs> it looks like Cthulhu there in the background. Oh! Ha ha ha! Secret area. Okay, yeah. Is this like a boss, or is it just like a normal enemy that's just annoying? Feels bossy, but like minor boss. We're gonna wait till he does that. Oh, dang it. Potion. Yeah. I missed it that. When he does the low attack, when he comes to the ground, that seems to be like the. We dodge it. There. We can land a couple of hits. Okay, so it seems to be a mini boss. Like he's taking way too many hits to just be like a random enemy. Come on. Come 
It's physical. I wish we had a health bar on him. Oh my god. F you, bro. Here we go. What was that? A rare ingot when man only can tell you wait a minute. Okay. Can we like save the dude in the pot? You know what? I think I should have been throwing daggers at his butt. Hey, what's up, Alex, man? How you doing? We're uh, we're trying out Eldoran, man. This this feels like a pretty freaking chill uh, indie Metroidvania. Um, that is hard to tell, Rickard, because I don't know how long it is yet. Okay, gameplay wise, if this game keeps evolving, offering new options as we go, and it lasts ten hours or more. I would say definitely quality wise, gameplay wise, it is worth the $20. If of course it's offering me like five or six hours of gameplay and then it's over, I would say wait for at least a 25% sale. Like it would feel like $15 or more would be a more adequate price at that point. So it's hard for me to tell now, but if we're just talking about quality of the gameplay and how the gameplay seems to be working out, it's about seven hours. It's, Alex says it's about seven hours and uh, I did see a couple of reviews out, but I always try to not watch reviews before I play the games so that I like, you know, I go with my fresh take on it. But um, if it's only seven hours, I really want to see how many boss fights there are and how like the, the gameplay develops. Because that's like borderline for a $20 game, I would say. Like, at 15 it would feel probably like an a, a, a easier yes. That makes any sense. But, uh, gameplay-wise, so far it's solid. Controls are good. Uh, the gameplay system seems to be developing well. Like, we seem to have a variety of weapons, a variety of enemies. Uh, there seems to be a personalization option, so you can play style if you like a big slow weapon or if you want a quick fast one that does poison so quite a few options let's go down here oh we have another vendor of its own evil yeah i know get as soon as possible sure we have a dexterity plus three Oh, this is two thousand dollars though god dang man our vitality plus four ring must be worth a, a, pr a pretty penny this is a whip I'm, I'm interested at how a whip works i feel like we need a metal buckler like we need a better shield i wish there was uh is there a is there a oh look you do see crafting items here so you do see how we can craft them I don't get it, but does this guy let you craft stuff? Hmm. Like, the only thing I can see here that would be worth it would be a metal buckler. Let's grab one of those. And I'd love to get the novice archer ring. I want to see if we can wear more than one ring. Oh, this one is way better. We have a ring that gives us plus two on everything. And we have another one that gives plus four vitality. So what we have currently is actually better. Let's go for the metal buckler. It's going to be just better. It's pure the same thing, just four defense instead of two. Let's just go the other way first. It's the same inventory. Thank you for letting me know. So maybe the inventory... Either the inventories don't change, or they might just be associated to your level. You know what I mean? Is that basically, just to make sure that you can sort of overpower yourself, it might be associated to your level as well. So we're back. We were here before. 
Oops. But there seems to be a way right there. What does this say? Uh, Alright, staff instead in our second. Oh, this uses our magic power. Interesting. Interesting. So I can have like a physical attack build, and then I can have like a magic build. This feels like a better combination. Where we can just do some ranged combat when needed. Eyes that observe your arrival. Okay, that was that was pretty easy guesses. Oops, look down. Okay, we can use the R direction key to look down. What does the note say? The great caving, caving mother of all Natinidines, a story of pain that became hatred and insanity. Sure. just gonna try and level up before going on because I feel like a boss is coming or a fight is coming so we're gonna try and just farm a little bit of XP here unless these guys are not are too weak and they're not giving me XP anymore. No, they are I did go up a little bit just not a lot of this should be good. I guess not. Okay, let's try here. Hold on. While equipped with a staff, press Y. Hey, okay, hold on. Okay, so we can do like a magic combo. Oh, we're out of magic. And wait till it gets up there a little bit. There we go, back to the goal. Oh yeah, man, so we can unleash a pretty sick combo there. Alternating Y and Zadar. That seems a little busted for the moment. give ourselves some more vitality then I'm gonna try and put a point or two into the um, into our critical hit yeah I, I, that I saw I saw that the magic bar regens automatically so that is good to know we don't need to like we have magic potions but they don't seem to be like well they're most likely going to be a necessity if you're sort of depending on that for boss fights. Ooh, I got destroyed there because I couldn't knock him out fast enough. Man, there seems to be so many different ways to go, though. I feel like this is one that you can have fun with for hours just running around. I'm liking the staff now though because the staff feels like a better axe like the, it, it hits slightly lower but it's a lot quicker you're a lot more agile when you're when you're carrying it 
And that combo, when you can like lock it down, seems to like wreck enemies. Okay, music has stopped, so we're, we're not going to go there right now. We're going to just open... I'm pretty sure that if we go up and to the left first, we're going to open up the path back to where we actually started. I don't know if you guys remember at the beginning, beginning, we were stuck behind a wall that there was a switch separating us from getting across. I'm pretty sure that's where it is. So I just want to sort of open up that path first. And we'll come back, we'll go down, and we'll get that done. Come on. Come on, dude. Some. There we go. I told you guys. Boom. We've, we're, we've gone full circle in this zone. The only place we haven't checked is to the right of the merchant in the blue so far. And down below where we were. So now we're going to go back down there and we're going to go back down below. But I feel like it feels like a boss fight is coming. It changes when you change colored zone, Champ Dancer. Like now the difficulty has seriously gone down because we are way better equipped than at the beginning. So it seems like the zone is is adjusted for when you're full gear. Like now it feels like a fair fight when I'm fighting most of these guys. While at the start, as soon as it wasn't like one of those two, three basic enemies, it felt like things were unfair. Now it feels like everything's a fair fight. However, when I change zones, you can definitely feel like a power switch with the enemies. Like the enemies have much better attacks and they uh, more complex attacks as well. But now this zone, like the blue zone, I'm not worried about. So it's really, to me, feels like you've got to, you, you target like a colored zone, see like blue, green to the top, red to the right, and you try to finish the colored zone first, then you move to the next one. Oh, and we've got an exploration percentage, 13.16%. So pretty sweet. Give me a sec here, guys. We gotta open up a beer. I'm 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 thirsty as heck. I am thirsty as heck. Oof. Honestly, though, I'm really glad we got to play this one. And I'm most likely gonna try and finish it over the weekend and pop out a review beginning of next week. It came out like yesterday or today. So it, we're in the time period. And if I don't, like I said, it'll be in my compilation video at the beginning of March. Okay, we're starting that in March. Beginning of each month, I'm going to do a compilation videos with the, with the few games from the previous month that I did not have time to fully review. And I'm going to try to do that mostly just for indie games. I'm not going to try to do that for big, for, maybe we will occasionally do big first party games, but I, I want to call it like, you know, indie gems of the month or something like that. And we're going to look at the indie games that I played. That I didn't have a time to fully review. Going to try to do like a three minute section per game and give it a score at the end. Move to the next game. All in the while, trying to get as many, like, day one or day two, three reviews out as possible. Boom! Told you, felt like a boss. Not sure exactly what I'm how I'm supposed to dodge the her attacks. Like when she corners me, what am I supposed to do? Oh god. Oh, my God. 
I feel like now, had I started this fight properly, I'd be able to, uh... Yeah, th that's, I, that's what I know, Alex. Like, I wanted, uh, I, I told everyone today, I wanted, theoretically, to review Rise of the Hero Fox. Uh, the developer got me the code, but they only got the codes in today. Like you said, uh, Nintendo seems to send in the codes, like, at the last second. Okay, we're going to try that fight again. However, this time with a much better knowledge of it. Keep forgetting about the freaking sub weapons. <laughs> and I'm like, man, this could have been such an easier fight if I had just remembered that there were sub weapons before she booted my butt. Yeah, PlayStation codes. Yeah, and like Steam, for example. Like a lot of developers, when a game comes out on Switch and Steam, I and I'm pretty sure it's the same for Alex, they try to offer you a Steam code. I always say no because I really want to review the games on the Switch because, you know, as everyone knows, you can't tell if there's going to be performance issues on the Switch if you're playing on a computer with Steam. Hey, Rizzo Gamers, what's up, my man? So, but yeah, apparently, you know, and apparently I think Steam codes cost like a lot less for the developers. Uh, th thanks, Hunter. I was afraid I would never return to Terrakan. That spider, she was the worst and biggest of its kind. By the way, my name is Guam, and I'm always looking for dedicated, delicate spices and rare ingredients. Uh, I mean, situations and, let's say, delicate. Uh, things have gotten worse in Eldoran. Nothing is as easy as it used to be. Creatures and beasts have become more aggressive, but nobody quite knows why. Watch your surroundings, Hunter. Strange things are happening. You know, part of me feels like they're trying to use slightly a a, um, a Witcher feel to the game. Look at the character. They're called hunters. They're hunting demons and blah, blah, blah. Like, obviously, a lot of things are going to feel like that. But if you look at the character, it just hit me. It makes me feel a lot of a feeling of like a 2D Witcher game. <laughs> Uh, obviously, like, this is Metroidvania, like, Witcher is, is, is a different open world type of thing, but... Okay, it's because I'm scared to touch that, because I'm pretty sure it's going to hurt me.
Okay, what we're going to do is I'm just going to go heal up, save, and then come back. Because if that wall is going to hurt me if I try to bust through it, I just don't want to die and then, like, have to refight the boss. Yeah, Steam is always the first one. PC is generally, like, always the first. Which is part of me why I wanted, I was looking into maybe getting a Steam Deck. And from time to time doing, like, Steam Deck reviews. But the audience seems like... Not a bad audience, but it just seems like, you know... It's that, it's a PC crowd, so it's not exactly... Um, the same type of crowd. Now, we can't get any further. Does anyone see anything that looks like... Doesn't look like we can go any further. Which is a little weird. I find it a little weird that we, like, beat the boss, we talk to the dude, but maybe unlocking the dude is the... Is like the, the the point of going down here. Yeah, Rizzo, man, the game the, the game is looking pretty good so far. I'm enjoying it quite a bit, and um, you know. What I can say, because someone asked if it's worth the $20, if you judge that a 7-hour Metroidvania that, that has a good production value behind it isn't worth the $20, it's at least going to definitely be worth it when the game goes on sale. Like, I can say that. Like, whether it's worth it full price, that's a question you have to ask yourself, and I'm not far enough in it yet, in my opinion, to judge that. But I'm already convinced that once this game hits, like, a $10 mark, for sure, it's going to be easily uh, a suggestible game. And I'm actually glad that the difficulty level sort of evened out a bit. Not that, like I said, I don't mind hard games, but at one point, it's fun to have some games that don't just cater to the crowd that likes extremely difficult games. Like, I feel sometimes when I'm doing my indie videos, too many of them are like, be careful, this game is fairly challenging. <laughs> And, you know, it's fun to have a mix in there of, like, this game is not challenging. So I think we're going to start leveling some magic damage people. <laughs> I wasn't leveling it at all. And now uh, I see that there is a reason to level it. Because I definitely want my fireballs to hit a little bit harder. I really feel, though, that most likely you're going to want to focus on one build. Like, I think that the best way in this game will be to be successful will be to focus on one build. And I'm looking forward to when I'm going to be able to reset my, 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 my things, because I honestly would focus now on vitality, and then as a secondary I would do magic damage. Because so far, the um, it's really too fun. Is it the same stuff? Yes, it is. We still don't have 2,000, so we still can. Can I sell stuff? Is there an option to sell? No. Okay, so we cannot sell anything for a moment. And there's a door blocking us here. Hmm. You bought a new SD card? I honestly had to store uh, some of my games uh, a few weeks back. My uh, my SD card was full again. Like, But just to let you know, I, I only have about 25% of my games actually installed on my Switch. Like, there's no way I could have them all installed. Like, if we count every game that I have a code to and, and that I have digital versions of. So... Uh, I had to, but I had to do a cleanup again, and I still, I think I'm under, I'm under 20 gigabytes of, of free space, so I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna finally have to bite the bullet and buy that, that one terabyte SD card. I was getting around with a 512 megabyte for quite a while, but I think I have no choice now, I'm gonna have to, 
I'm gonna have to go for the one one terabyte. Um, you think I'll love the Siren deck? The Siren deck is that like a new system? Sorry, I'm not familiar with the, the Siren deck. Yeah, I uh, honestly yes, uh, a hundred terabyte card would be fun. Uh, but I also have to buy more storage for my new PC because I started with just like a one terabyte uh, basic uh, uh, M.2 drive. I have to buy like a four terabyte actual hard drive for like long term storage. And I need to get an SSD after that. But I'm gonna wait till like in a week or two. I'm gonna pick those up over the next couple of weeks. And then, uh, yeah, I'll take it from there. So we're gonna go to the green section now. I feel like that is the next progression part that we should be going for. I think we couldn't go this way, right? Yeah, we're locked. Honestly, I would have expected, though, after that first boss to get, like, a new ability. Like, you know, because we've, we've seen, like, a few sections where it looks like we can, like, hookshot or stuff like that. Yeah, the... Me too. I've I, I I the reason I've been holding out is honestly because I've been waiting for like them to go down in price a bit because they're still I still I, I I still think here in, in Canadian they're close to two hundred dollars. Like once we put you put taxes in and everything, they're close to two hundred. So it, it feels like a little steep for storage for the moment. But I still will have to eventually just say, like, you know what? I think, can I jump on that guy's head and use him as a platform? Yes, spikes. I think it's going to hurt. Yeah. Okay. At least we answered that question. I was wondering if I could use him as a platform. I feel like this is a good time to switch the axe. Just because we want less we want less hits but more high powered. Because I was taking like it was taking way too many shots of the uh, staff. And The staff for these guys are, are definitely an advantage. There we go. This guy. Get some magic, magic action up. But overall, I'm wondering if you're always going to go for a, a balanced build because. It's, it's hard to say. We'll have to see. We have to continue down the game. Because I wonder if at one point you're going to get to, like, enemies that, like, magic just doesn't work on. And if you put all your points into magic with nothing into physical damage, you're sort of going to get f And vice versa. Boost. He's 
freaking mosquitoes that are just annoying because they're so freaking small. Wow, zombie. Almost ran right into it. Let's power up our magic again. I wonder what max level is as well. Do we see our character's level? Yeah, 15. Man. Okay, that's no, that's XP. I was like, there's no way we have like 3,200 health. I'm like, well, I'm taking 20. <laughs> At least the safe points seem to be fairly distributed as well. <sighs> We're gonna keep going this way. Sort of, it's like really hard to get an idea of where you're supposed to go, which is why I'm comparing this to like a Hollow Knight thing where you can't just explore one section, finish that section, move to another. You're always gonna wind up having to go back and forth, back and forth. And we just got into another boss. By the way, yeah, like, I'm so sure that thing is gonna drop down on me. Okay, but that seems like OP if we can get behind it. Like, honestly, I'm feeling like this guy acts is going to be a better plan. I just have to dodge his crap a little bit better. I have to predict when he's gonna do the freaking laser and get behind his head. Oh, dang. Okay, now I'm getting screwed. Because he's not doing he's not doing the attack anymore. God damn. <laughs> yeah, he does have style. It, it, honestly, it's a, visually, it's a pretty chill boss. But it's like, just when I got his attack pattern down, and I'm like, okay, when he's going to do his laser, I'm going to get behind him. I'm going to axe his head down. Uh, he stopped doing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm gonna try and fight him with the staff, and then basically wait for him to drop down and then switch to the axe. Because if I'm trying to do the, art, the axe the whole time... It's not working. It's not working because I don't have enough mobility with the axe. This is the, the this does the laser, right? Yes. I switched back by mistake. And I'm taking so many hits because I just can't dodge. Like I get stuck. This is where he throws the fists. I'm like stuck between the fire. Ooh. 
did the laser and I got stuck. Oh my god, again this? Oh, this is the laser. There we go. Woof. <sighs> oh yeah, well we're playing in docked right now and so far I haven't had any performance issues. No slowdowns, no uh, nothing and definitely no crashing yet. So don't forget that maybe they got, like Nintendo Life probably got an earlier code because they probably do get a few um, early codes and it could have been a pre-patched uh, build. So don't forget that there, a lot of these games have day one patches. I downloaded a day one patch as I was logging in today. Like when I was starting the game for the stream, a patch came out that wasn't out this morning when I played the game, when I loaded it up the first time. <sighs> a rewarding drink of beer for an awesome boss fight. So we've got the double jump. So now we did get a special item that enables something. This one gives us the double jump. Oh, yes. Ugh. Hook something there. Oof. Okie doke. Do we have like a... Does it say anywhere like the... Um, the abilities we've acquired so far? Uh, no, the relics. Yeah, well, yes, the relics here will, will probably be... Okay, so now we have the double jump. Nice. So there are... Over there, we needed the double jump to get to platforms, which we couldn't go to. So we're going to go there first, before we go further right. Also, it's going to give us a chance to save... Yeah, exactly. It's a rock's feather. Freaking cop. Everyone copies Zelda, man. Everyone copies Zelda. Let's just tank this stuff. Oof, we're getting we're we're getting close to the hour where I have to stop. But honestly, I'm into the game now. Like I don't feel like stopping. We're going to have to stop anyway, but the more I'm playing this, the more I'm getting into it. Like now, I'm liking this. Nice boss fights, good design, fun adventuring. Like the game has a lot of fun. You. Just take your beating and stop bugging me. Yeah, this is a new part. God again. Another wasp. I'm saying wasp's nest, but it's definitely not wasp's nest. Some weird kind of mosquito bee type craziness. I'm trying to think in the first section, is there somewhere we couldn't go because of a double jump? Oh, dang. That thing looks mean. Okay, 
how many how many hits does this guy take? I don't know, but he's taking a boatload. God dang. Okay. Oh no, not another one of those. I like we have to do this. I don't have any potions, do I? Dang it. And we're freaking far away from a safe spot. Uh, the games I ordered, hold on, let's look at this. I ordered from um, Play Asia this week. Um, I ordered, I ordered the Reverie Suite, a Suite as Edition uh, Play Exclusive. I ordered the Physical of River City Girls 2. I also ordered uh, Kumaju Remilia Scarlet Symphony, which is like a Metroidvania mix mixed with a bullet hell. Alex actually reviewed it on his channel. And I also ordered Smelter. And now part of me is worried that I already have River City Girls 2 physical, but I'm pretty sure I don't. I think I only have a digital. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I only have a digital. I knew I was going to get one hit and die. Dang it. And we are so far. We're like all the way over here. We're like right after the boss. I'm going to have to be less dumb. And actually fight the enemies as we go. I say that and then I take a bunch of hit for hits for them. Oh my god! You annoying mosquito whatevers. Oh, we can kneel and kneel and hit. Go, level up. Last time I did heart, but we're gonna do magic damage. Uh, no, I got just the second one because I already have the first one. I already have zero, so I didn't want to get the double pack. So I just got River City Girls 2. Just so that I have one, two, zero, and um, yeah, I know I, I know they have the double pack. It was just um, like, for me, it's like, uh, it's, 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 and I think they were almost the same price, like the double pack and the not double pack. But for me, it's just like, if I already have the one, I'd rather have the one and two separate than have like a double pack. I did the same thing for Ori. Like it cost me more because I wanted, I already had Ori 2 and I was looking for Ori 1 that I didn't have physically. And I had to pay more for Ori 1 and I would have just bought the double pack that came out after. It. But I did that in the end because I wanted like, I already had Ori one, uh, 2 and I, I'd rather have like the two games separate than have a double pack. It's just like a, you thought Smelter was pretty dull? I, I felt the 2D platformer sections were really fun. Uh, however, the the uh, overworld sections, like the RTS sections, yes, were definitely not up to par with like... Um, oh my god, what's the game that they're trying to emulate that we just got a remake last year as well? Um, Act Razor. Act Razor, um, the, 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 the Renaissance, 
um, it is the remake, but basically they're trying to copy the formula for Act Razor, and the RTS sections to me felt not up to par, like with with the other sections. Oh my god, can I just get a freaking health potion? Kill the zombie, we're gonna try to get a level up. Like, I, I, I'm i not gonna go back where the huge eye is until I feel like I can, like, until I get a level up and I, I'm, I'm back to full health. Because right there is where that huge eye thing was. We sort of have to because that's the only new section. We can kill a couple of these little things. We're right about to get the level up. Like killing that might be enough. Magic energy. Boom. Ugh. We're literally like one thing away from a level up. Took a hit nonetheless after, but still. Oh my god. Oh my. I'm, I'm like gonna lose all my life to these fucking mosquitoes again. Oh my god. You bro, F you. Oh my god. I'm gonna flip out. I'm so dumb. I need to go up there. River Bond? Yeah. R River Bond is a pretty good game um but um yeah S sorry i got distracted by this but yeah so smelter i still found that i really like the art style i really like the 2d action sections it was just like the overworld sections didn't live up to what i was ex hoping for but overall i still like i still find it was like a 25 dollar physical version I still found that like it was a good enough game that I I wanted a physical version of it. Got rid of this guy. See, we have another. See, that's a hook shot thing. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a hook shot hook shot item. Hook shot item. See, but we that thing's not at. It's actually not attacking me if I don't hurt it. So I think we're gonna just ignore it for the moment. There's a noise. Oof. Okay. We're gonna go for another like 10 ish, 15 minutes. After that, though, guys, I'm going to have to call it for tonight simply because uh, we started a little later than usual and I always try to finish before, around quarter to nine ish. And yeah, I'm going to see Ant-Man and the Wasp tomorrow with my brother. So we've got a big, big day plan. The wife is going uh, to a show with, my, with the girls that I was not interested in. So, 
it's a pretty big day planned for tomorrow and I would really like to maybe, like I said, try to find some time tomorrow while my wife is at the show to finish this game and get a review out. <clears> hmm. <throat> okay. That worked. got another level up. Uh, possibly, if I don't get it ahead of time and I don't already review it, then possibly the next stream would be Grim Guardians. I try to not play games that I've reviewed just because, like, I, you know, let's say I don't have time to review Eldebra uh, this game, at least we have a at least we have like a stream so that you guys can get an idea of what the game's all about. And honestly, I know streams take a lot longer because it's long to watch, but I do feel that when you watch a full stream, you almost get a better idea of how the game is than if you just watch a review. Because you get to actually, you know, see the game in motion and see the person playing it live. But that's just me. I know a lot of people prefer review because you like in under 10 minutes you pretty much get all the information you need and you can sort of try and make a decision based on that. No. No. Oh man. I knew that was a risk. I just hope we can get back right there. I think we can. Oh my god. I'm yeah, so we definitely can get back up there. We just gotta do some double jumping up. Man, everyone's apparently everyone's saying uh, Ant Man and the Wasp is not a very good movie. And I am was super hyped for it, so I'm like really disappointed that, like, I'm gonna wait to see it myself. But I'm really worried, man, because let's be honest, my, the the latest really the the latest Marvel movie that I really really liked a lot has to be Shang Chi. I think, right? Shang Chi came out before uh, after Endgame. Cause like Endgame was like the, the, the nuts, but since then, like there, there's been good movies, but nothing um, insane. And I was really thinking that Ant Man and the Wasp was gonna be like the turning point where we're, we were gonna like be like, nice Kang Dynasty, let's do this. And apparently, that is not the case. Oh my god, man. It's like in a super weird position. Can I? No. If I go up, it just throws my... Oh, I can hit it from a top. Nice! Wrecked it. This is I wanted to see. Okay, this does nothing. Hmm. Hmm. So all this exploring. 
Yeah, Black Panther was another, like, disappointing one. <sighs> and it's nothing about the Black Panther becoming a woman, but the, the actress didn't have the charisma in this movie that, like, to, that, that Chadwick Boseman had as Black Panther. Like, you wanted Black Panther to win in this, I'll be honest. And I get it, she lost her brother, but I found her so whiny the whole movie that I was like, you know what, I don't care if she wins. <laughs> like, obviously you care because she's the hero and you want, like, you know, you know that, like, she needs to win, like, to, to you know, to protect Wakanda and blah, blah, blah. But I found, like, because they made it so much, like, so dark and so broody and so, like, my brother's dead, you know, like, I don't care about anything anymore. It's, like, it's hard to root for that person after that to be like, oh, I want this person to succeed. I think... No, I I, I, I know he, he, he died. Like, I'm not saying it's the actor's fault. I'm saying that the tone that they took... For the replacement actor to me would have should have been a tone of hope not a tone of like not like you get what i'm where i'm saying it's like i would have wanted her his sister to be hopeful and be like the center of hope that everything is going to work out rather than like the whole movie be down like it, it to me like it took her too long to get to the point where she like came into her own yeah, the whole plot was like, I want to, I want to avenge my brother. Like, uh, I want to avenge my mother. Like, I, I, I want revenge, revenge, revenge. Like, because he died of natural causes. I forgot. Like, they, they, they didn't do it where like a bad guy killed him. But the whole movie is like, I'm super sad. Now I want to revenge for my mother. And I'm like, oh my god, how do you want to root for this hero? You know, like Black Panther is not supposed to be an anti-hero. She, he's supposed to be like a hero. He's supposed to be like a Captain America version hero. Like, you know. And it's not that they can't have emotions or whatnot, but you expect them to bounce back quicker. Because they're supposed to bring hope to their people and whatnot. And it took her to like the last moment when she's choosing to not kill him to like basically decide. Oh my god. <gasps> wow, this is weird. So we have to try and spin the wheel and get the star. So I hit it on the star and it stopped two before. So if I do it here. Oh, I was so close. Okay. So I tried to do it on that. It stopped there. So it went one too many. Okay. Let's try again. Boom. No! Oh my god. Like, seriously? No. <sighs> Come on. I, like, I was sure I had it. Boom. Got a ring. <sighs> Thor, Thor, Thor. I want to talk about Thor. I love the beginning where Thor's like a badass, like doing his like splits and beating up all the guys and everything. And then they just turn him into a total dumbass for the rest of the movie. Like, literally. 
Yeah, like literally, uh, they told they tur they turned him into a Dumbo for the rest of the movie, and I was like, "The hell are you doing here, man?" Like, you do know the new movie's called Thor, right? It's called Thor, like not like Jane, you know, like not the. Um, uh, Jane Foster, but um, Mighty Thor. Like, I I get it. You want to do like something, you know, like it's okay to have another like protagonist or whatnot. But it's like, can you just not make them our hero into a total Dumbo so that she can have the spotlight? You know, like you can just have them both cool, right? Like. Um, Ragnarok, like, Thor was a little dumb, you know, like, had his moments of, like, dumbness, but, like, it was controlled, and they just kicked it up to level, like, a hundred for, for, for that last one. But, yeah. Yeah, I know, I watched the Angry Joes, that's why I'm... That's why I'm sort of like, oh my god, what? like, I'm so disappointed. I, I watch, <laughs> I watch Angry Joe. That's the only, like, I used to be a Star Trek fan, and I haven't watched uh, Star Trek Picard, simply because Angry, Angry Joe just freaking destroyed that show. Like, and generally, I'm, I tend to have an opinion that is fairly, like, in line with, with, with what he enjoys and he doesn't enjoy. It's funny because I almost... <laughs> I'm not going to say an argument because we're, we're, we're like... We're friendly. But I almost got into an argument with the girl that works at GameStop. Because she was protecting... Um, what you, uh, Protocol. Um, Calypso Protocol. She said, Calypso Protocol is a great game. And uh, For Spoken is a great game. And like... I managed to play a bit of each, and I was like, yeah, the, the, this isn't what I was expecting. <laughs> we big, we're back to the big eye thing. Oh, we're, we're opening the door. We're opening the door. We're here. Yay. We made it all the way back. Yay! I need to make it to a save point because we're gonna have to call it boys for tonight. So I'm gonna mosey on over to a save point. Closest one I can find, which seems to be the one right up there. Yeah, so I should be able to pop here, pop up here. Now, this away, this away. Try to not get up there, then there. Ouch. Baby. Wow. Here. Just have to not hit the huge eyeball thingy. This guy, we don't care. Here, here. And boom, we are at our safe point. Whew. Like, I wonder what the fast travel is if it's not activated. <laughs> Great job. You know that sometimes ju uh, jumping bear is just messing with you too. Yeah, Angry Joe's a god-tier YouTuber. Basically, he has millions of followers. He speaks his mind. He doesn't care about monetization. Like, if his video... Well, he tries to keep them monetized, but if his videos get demonetized, he basically has enough Patreons that he doesn't actually need the money directly from YouTube, although I'm pretty sure it's a... It's a hefty... <laughs> hefty income for him, nonetheless. But... He, he'd rather keep, stay, tr like, real to himself than, than, you know, sort of bend to, to monetization rules and whatnot. So that is Angry Joe. So, guys, 
hope you enjoyed the stream tonight. I, w I know I was very focused on the game tonight, but when I'm very focused on the game, that's generally a good sign. That's because I'm really enjoying the game. Ragnarok is one of my favorite Marvel films as well, uh, Jared. It is um, right up there. Like, honestly, um, it's one of the rare, it's one of the Marvel films I can watch over and over again and not get tired of it. Um, like, even Endgame, which I would say is probably my favorite, it's specifically because of the end of the movie, like when everyone comes together. However, like, I often will skip the beginning of the movie and watch the last, like, half. Yeah, and Angry Joe's a, a YouTube millionaire. Like, he's a, he's almost a PewDiePie level, you know, like, he, no one is quite at the level of PewDiePie except, mes like, maybe Mr. Beast. But he's, like, up there. He's, like, definitely, I would say, probably in the top 20, 25 of, of YouTubers. Yeah, me too. When Bruce jumps out, breaks his neck, and then just like everyone's like, I just love the fact that everyone's like, they turn around to be like, what what was this idiot doing? And then Hulk just freaking grabs the wolf from behind, pulls him away. Well, you guys saw my video today. Like it was Hulk is one of my favorite characters. Like honestly, Hulk is one of my favorite superheroes of all time. And although he's gotten a few nice parts, like as a secondary role in the movies, I do get he's a hard hero to get like a, a, a main role in the movie. But I am disappointed that like I find he was always done dirty in the movies, like no one's really done him properly. And I feel like if they would go with like. Like there is a way to make a proper like Hulk movie, you know what I mean? Like where Hulk is the main character and. Uh, and it's sort of too late to do World War Hulk, but I think that would have been probably the best way is to take the Hulk from the Avengers and actually do the World War Hulk movie. But they sort of did that with Sakaar and 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 Ragnarok, so you can't really go back, you know what I mean, um, and do it again in a different way because it just wouldn't make sense time timeline-wise. But yeah. Edward Norton was a good Hulk, but I do think that Hulk for a modern and everyday audience is at his best when he can have moments of humor like uh, the Mark Ruffalo version. Oh man, don't talk to me about She-Hulk. Like uh, it's like I said, I, I I'm just annoyed that they that the way they try to promote the new heroes is by making the old heroes look like idiots compared to them. You know what I mean? Like, oh, she Hulk's so great because she can kick Hulk's butt, but she can't. Like, no, you know, like whatever. And it's like there's other ways of making the new heroes seem cool. Then making then like make making them make the old heroes look bad. Like, cause that's basically what they're trying to do in almost every movie. It's like when they want to switch up for a new hero, oh well, the other one was so wasn't that great. You know what I mean? And I'm like, no, the other one can be great and you can be great in a different way. It is exactly what they're doing, and it doesn't make sense, and I don't get it. You spent years, years building up these franchises and these heroes, and then to promote a secondary hero that will, like... <sighs> it, it, what sucks is that the reason Phase 1, 2, 3, and 4 work is because you had these big iconic primary heroes like Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, the Hulk. Were all of these heroes the biggest well-known heroes before the movies? Not necessarily, but in comic book land, they were primary heroes. These are primary heroes. These are heroes that have been leading their franchises for 30 to 40 plus years. And the, 
like She Hulk, um, like uh, Captain Marvel, and all of these, they do have their primary series, but they've never had the pull and the weight of an Iron Man, a Captain America, um, Spider Man, and whatnot. Which is why you can't just throw all of them away and say like, okay, we're just going to take all these secondary heroes and turn them into primary heroes. It doesn't work that way. Like, the Avengers will always have, like, have always had at their, hel like, at their helm, like an Iron Man, a Captain America, a Thor, you know, not officially at their helm Thor, maybe, because, like, the leaders have traditionally been Iron Man, Captain America, um, and there have been like other heroes, but it's always been interims till one of the big boys come back. You know what I mean? And what I and I know that the actors are leaving, and you, people don't want you to replace the actors, and blah blah blah. But there are other big heavy hitters that they can go get, and eventually, um, you will have to most likely replace some of these like I'm, I'm sorry to say like you, you can't just you can't just like eliminate captain america you know what i mean like they did but to me it's like there's a reason after 40 years there's still captain america comic books people just want to keep seeing the hero come back and back and back but anyway We'll see what that turns out to be. I just hope that the MCU gets back on uh, on on track. <laughs> I'm a huge superhero fan. I think you guys can tell. Uh, like, but yeah. Okay, guys. Enough ranting about MCU and garb and not needing to tear down heroes to build other heroes up and whatnot. Um, but you know, I hope you guys all enjoy your weekend. If anyone else watches Ant-Man and the Wasp, I'll let you guys know next week when we do our stream what I thought of the movie. Um, I'm going to try to keep an open mind. I'm going to try to enjoy it nonetheless. Um, I will try to get a full review out for Eldorand. Seems like a really decent, decent game that I'm enjoying quite a bit for the moment. Oh, I have Live Factory as well. But, oh, I think that might be embargoed. Uh, I can't show you gameplay. I can show you the the uh, the thumbnail, but um, I had I have this game as well. But I it might be embargoed. It might be embargoed for a couple of weeks. I need to check first. I need to check first so we can. But we 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 have some nice options coming up, and next week's going to be a fun stream. If I don't have time to uh, review um, the game we looked at earlier, Grim Guardians. Uh, that could be a definite stream option for next week. So we're gonna, I'm gonna be looking into that. Gonna be sending out emails on the weekend. Hopefully next week, where I'm gonna, gonna get here back and get some games. So hey everyone, have a great weekend. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Hope you liked the game. And as usual, I hope I'll see all of you in my next video.